let's talk about the three reasons why the 80 series of BMW has caught Audi and Mercedes completely napping on the job. Let me just preface this by saying I don't think that this is the best looking range of cars you've ever seen, nor am I a BMW fanboy at all. In history, I've owned a number of Audis, a number of Mercedes. I just think that this platform is absolutely killing it, judged by the record sales of BMW M in 2023. And the first reason is you have so much choice compared to Audi and Mercedes. You can have, of course, a convertible M4, a two-door, a four-door, um, a wagon, and you also have lots of choice regarding, of course, the manual transmission. You can have a manual rear-wheel drive, a manual all-wheel drive car. You have so much choice on this platform that you do not have in Mercedes. Speaking of choice, I still cannot even order a brand new C63 four-cylinder car in Australia. It's just simply not on the website. And in regards to Audi, you have a limited choice. You can either have an RS5 or a wagon. You can't have multiple choices or manuals. So that's where one of the main reasons why I think these are selling so well is they suit so many different people while still having the crazy performance, of course, of the twin turbo six. Now, the second reason why BMW has caught the competitors napping, at least the German ones, uh, with the 80 series is, of course, the B58, S58. I don't need to go on and on, because everyone else does, about the performance um, and the tuning potential of this car. We're gonna sneeze on this thing in the next month and it's gonna run nines. Uh, pretty much all day and easily without, of course, having to change bolt-ons. This uh, platform of cars is one of the first performance sedans uh, and coupes and wagons that has done that so easily compared to Audi and Mercedes. On top of that, the RS5, S5 and RS4 platform have not really changed that much performance-wise in the last few years. It's only gotten a bit of a mild update and the Mercedes, well, it has a huge amount of power, the C63, um, but I'm not really sure how many launches you can do with that car before it runs out of battery. And tuning potential, well, given the complication and the fact that that four cylinder turbo is probably already having its neck completely run out with that much power, I don't think the uh, tunability is anywhere close to the 80 series uh, cars. First cab off the rank, let's talk about these body uh, parts that we've added in carbon onto the M4. Firstly, all these bits are from zero offset. We've had a CSL carbon uh, front grille. We've got carbon intakes with carbon front lip. And what I really like about this is it's relatively subtle rather than looking ridiculous. If we go around the back of the car, we've added a zero offset lip, which also makes the car look a little bit more aggressive without uh, going over the top. And we've added these carbon mirrors. So three or four different carbon pieces, uh, which make the car just look that little bit more aggressive and sporty um, without going over the top. That's what I like. We do have also suspension coming. We'll be lowering the car. We'll be keeping the standard wheels though. Um, and of course, we've done a full ceramic coating across the car and the wheels uh, to keep this black paint over brown leather looking nice all the time. So the last reason and maybe a bonus one why the 80 series has caught the others napping is the Nürburgring lap time. Basically the CSL in this series has the fastest lap time for this sort of vehicle against its competition. Many of you won't care, but it certainly does help for marketing purposes. Essentially, this series has the most track focused uh, array of vehicles uh, that will get incredibly fast times and be rear wheel drive or manual if you like. Um, and it does do it faster than Audi and Mercedes. Um, on top of that, as a little bit of a bonus reason, from 2020 onwards, when many other brands struggled, like Mercedes, to get stock to you as a buyer, as a buyer um, 
BMW have probably done a better job than the other two of having the last three years less restrictions being able to get cars to customers. Um, right now, if you want to buy a Mercedes, not only will you have a fair weight on your hands still, but you have to order it from a set price in the agency model on the website. You can't haggle. Uh, whereas BMW, I mean, yes, it's plus and minus for the customer in that it does still depreciate quite a lot, but you can get your hands on a reduced price, slightly used vehicle from your dealer, whereas Mercedes and probably eventually Audi, uh, you have to order it from a set retail price from a website. So those are the three reasons uh, why the 80 series has done so well in the last three years, why it continues to sell well, even though people had such an aversion to its looks when it first came out. This car, we're gonna be doing an E85 tune, we're gonna be doing all sorts of other mods, downpipes intake, uh, et cetera, and we're gonna take you along for the journey and put on the dyno, all that good stuff. Let us know what else you would like to see. I have my own extra project car coming in 24 as well. So uh, if you wanna see that, please subscribe to Driver 88 and we'll see you next time.